Okay, in the interests of showing you this stuff, uh, I'm just going to, uh, yep, there's, there's going to be echoey sounds and that kind of thing, but it's not like this is not a super impressive video. It's my bedroom, you yeah. know, my, uh, quick computer. So the bottom one goes down, and that's where we're going to start. Top one comes up, uh, so let's just put my apples in there and let's say go in there. So, let's head down. Oh, yeah, this is my house. I really like, really like this table. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. Uh, I'm very happy with my work areas, my brewing stands, smelting. I agree, I've got to change this a little bit. I need a place to put things. Uh, okay, so. The down would have come here. Yep, there we go, there's the apples. Uh, I have an up here. I've uh, got a secret entrance here that is now open. This goes into the, the inner ring between the, the four iron segments. I've got an up here and also an up here. So I'm just going to put these in here and quickly rush on through here into the solid state transfer section. Uh, this, this will activate the moment. There we go. This is going to start throwing the apples into the bottom here. And in a moment, once all of those are ejected, off they go up into Magic Land. So, let's head back upstairs. And then I'll, I'll explain how this entire thing works. the explanations because there's a fair bit of uh, Minecraft magic going on here into the maintenance area first thing solid state item transfer circuits and pipes copper item feeds the top level that's this one here feeds the top level copper item feed from top level so this is the one that comes back down from the top level Copper item feed to dropper, so this goes into the dropper. Drop comparative signal on empty, uh, on not empty. So this activates when this is not empty. By doing so, it activates these two pistons, sticky pistons. Uh, we get a one tick pulse limiter. What happens here is the signal comes through here, goes along here, and at the same time this piston pushes out. So that causes this wire to pulse one tick only. Okay. So this is the timer starter signal. This configuration here is a four repeated timer, which sends a signal around and around and around. Uh, this block from the signal, which is active while the dropper is that got items, completes this loop. The signal timer comes through here and gives it a one tick pulse to kick it off. So this is the timer enable or disable. As soon as there are no more items in there, these two things will track. The timer will stop. Okay. So every time the timer goes around a tick, it sends a signal around here to the dropper timer signal, which just tells the dropper to fire once. We also have another signal down here, so when the dropper has items, it comes down here and inverts. And it inverts because this block is the one that's where the dropper drops its items. So when the dropper is empty, this piston goes back up and the items shoot up into the air. And finally, at the very top, this just has to be solid blocks 3x3. Three three. The very top it pops out into some water, into another into another hopper, and then into that chest that we saw before. 